Hi there, it's Jeff. I wanted to make a little video to share with you all my favorite uh, screwdriver bits and, and attachments that I use, mainly with my battery drill in my uh, joinery profession, but not only for that, even for your DIYers. Um, I'm gonna go through my favorite uh, bits and pieces here and what they do and how to use them correctly. So stick around and I'm gonna share with you these uh, bits and how they can benefit you maybe in your DIY workshop. Okay, firstly I'd like to start off with one of my favourite uh, bits here that I use with a battery drill and it's mainly when I'm you know, building cabinets or, or doing some joinery but it's basically a countersink bit with a drill bit uh, through it as well so it does two things at, at the same time. It actually drills a pilot hole and it gives you a nice countersink uh, as well for, your, for the head of your screw. But not only that, you can adjust the um, depth of your countersink with this adjustment. So these tools are really good, especially if you want to um, do a, a series of holes or you want them all to look the same and the same depth. Uh, this is going to do it really nice and neatly. And these come in a variety of different um, sizes, particularly to take your center pilot hole drill bit. So I have two that I mainly use. Um, being this one would be the most um, used. It's the, it's the one with the 1 8th drill bit. Um, so that accommodates my chipboard screws when I'm drilling. Um, and I have another one here which is around about 3 16. So if I've got a um, uh, sometimes pre-drill a hole and I don't want the screw to actually grab through it, I just want like a pilot hole, a clearance, I'll use the bigger one. But um, these ones here, very, um, very good uh, bits for your workshop and I re highly recommend these ones and they're not too expensive. So uh, these ones should be number one. Number two, let's talk about Phillips head um, attachments. Um, and first let's talk about the differences because you will come across uh, Phillips head or number two and you'll have posi drive as well. You can also have a posi driver number two. They do come in different sizes, uh, number one, two, three, um, in, both, in both increments, so posi and Phillips. So the difference between the two of them, well, you'll notice with the posi drive, as particularly with the screws, so if, uh, this can depend on the manufacturers and so on, but with the screws and the Phillips uh, head on them, you'll see like a, a cross uh, little crosshair marks on the head of the screws. And that's how one way of um, working out whether they are posi drive or not. And if they are, if they do, if the screw heads do have those um, features on the head, those crosshairs, then you'll know that you need to use a posi drive screwdriver bit. Um, they, they are a little bit uh, close to each other and hard to identify, but uh, it's mainly the uh, the angle that the, the the Phillips head is on on the on the tip, but as you can see in the photos there, the differences of them, and you'll also find uh, on the Phillips head bits themselves, it'll actually have a mark and will say um, PZ two or three or whatever, and if it's a Phillips head, it'll say PH two or three or whatever. So. Um, Phillips and Posi drive bits and what I like the most are these extension pieces and I've got one here on my battery drill you'll see me using this one a lot um, I like these extension pieces because um, they get into um, places well, especially in um, tight spaces or places where you know you need to reach in these are really good but I also have shorter versions and you've got um, ones like these which are magnetic they have a magnetic tip and you just change the bits out in them um, these are quite handy as well and I guess if you really wanted to you could extend these so if you had two of them you could actually put one into the other and make it a little bit longer if you wanted to or to get out of trouble as well but um, yeah these are designed for your um, battery drills the quick release um, 
and I know with my one here, my particular brand, I can just, um, yeah, just you just click them in, and they 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 fit in beautifully. But those Phillips heads um, attachments here with the magnet are really good, and they hold your screw on as well, being magnet tipped, very handy. Another great advantage to these uh, magnetic holders is that you can get a variety of different bits that uh, will fit in there. They range from uh, your flat blades to your torque, um, your torque or um, bits, uh, hexagon or Allen heads, and uh, even your security ones. So, if you, for example, if you've got like a security uh, head on your screw or thread, um, you can get the right bits that fit in there, star shape or whatever they might be. Um, that go into your magnetic holder makes life easy. You can use your battery drill on threads or screws with those uh, specialty bits. Um, there are also um, these type of variety where they're double sided. Um, generally, they're going to be um, f the same both sides, or sometimes you can get a, a variation. One side might be a Phil a Phillips, and the other side posi. So uh, that's the Phillips head sort of attachments and bits that I love to use and. Um, recommend getting an extension type of uh, attachment Phillips said um, they're really good to get into awkward places next I want to talk about these uh, self-centering drill bits they're basically uh, a pilot hole that you would drill for your material but with an outer sheath that springs back so these are really good and very handy if you are working with uh, hinges, particularly butt hinges um, for your household doors or entry doors that you have to fit those type of things or um, or sometimes, yeah, if you just have a, a larger center or countersink center and you want to drill straight through. So these are really handy. I do have a set of these in my workshop um, and I use them uh, they're, very, they're also very handy if you're um, fitting runners, cabinet runners. Um, often the cabinet runners will have countersink holes and um, these are very handy. You just you know, have this, you drill bit, you drill set up with one of these, um, the pilot hole to accommodate your little uh, screws that you're gonna fit in for your runners and just put one of these in and you know you're gonna be in the center of your uh, countersink hole for your runner for example, or your mounting blocks for your hinges. So uh, I really highly recommend these uh, self-centering drill bits, very handy. You can get them in a, a range of sizes and that's particularly gonna range, particularly with the, uh, the pilot hole that's in the middle. You're gonna get different sizes. There's also ones that I do use um, that have the five mil drill bit in them and they have a, a flat surface on the end and um, I use these for, with jigs that I've got made where I have a, 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 the hole on my jigs are the, uh, the diameter of this um, outer sheath and they're spring loaded again as well with um, a, a, wood, a wood bit in the, in the center with a, with a point, pointed brad bit. Um, and these are really good. I used to use these for runners as well or uh, mounting for the hinge plates on cabinets. And uh, these, 5 mil drill bits are particularly good if you're wanting to use the Euro style grub screws for runners so or, or mounting for your hinges but um, yeah the snappy 5 mil drill bits self-centering with the outer sheath flat very handy as well um, I use those a lot too. The other thing I just wanted to actually uh, also let you know about and, and share what I use as well a, a lot are these long series drill bits. Um, I find these really handy when I'm uh, using my pocket hole jig. Um, I use this to actually reach in because of the sharp angle on the pocket hole jig. Um, you just can't get your battery drill with a normal small drill bit. Uh, by the time you know, your standard drill bit is in your chuck and you're trying to use it in that, in that pocket hole jig if you wanted to do like a pilot hole, especially if you're working with MDF and you know, it can split very easily. I like to do a pilot hole as well when I do my pocket hole. So, um, these long series drill bits are very handy for that. I really recommend those because you can uh, reach in there on your angle just to give it a little bit of a start and then you put your screw in um, and they're very handy. But uh, yeah, the long series drill bits, I really recommend them. Just get a couple of different drill bits, especially 
to do with a pilot hole for your chipboard screw and that will really get you out of trouble uh, splitting your MDF and uh, those sort of situations. The other thing I like too that, are, that come in handy sometimes are these um, attachments for your battery drill that take um, your sockets. Um, they just got a little spring-loaded tab there too to keep them in place. But these are also very handy to put into your, you know, your battery drill if you've got um, bolts or anything like that uh, that you need to pull apart or, or undo. Um, these bits are really handy that take the, uh, the sockets, so just keep those in mind as well. Um, they're not very expensive, but you can get these in a set of um, half inch, three eight, and even quarter drive, which can be handy, you know, for your small bits. And lastly, um, it's always handy to have uh, a little set of countersink, dedicated countersink bits. These are just your, your countersink bits that that's all they'll do unlike the other bit with a pilot hole. These uh, countersink bits are very handy in your workshop if you want to countersink your, your holes there. Uh, sometimes even these are good just to take, um, uh, if you've drilled a, a particular size hole, or, or, or especially on metal as well, they, they can be very handy just to take that sharp edge off as well and just give you a little chamfer around your hole. So um, countersink bits, um, I highly recommend those as well, very handy. And uh, the other thing I just sort of also throw in, and I almost forgot, are these step-through drill bits. Now these um, can be very handy, uh, particularly through metal, if you want to make a, um, if you've got a metal bracket, for example, or um, in thin sheet metal, it can, if you've got a particular size, if you've got a small size hole, say you've got a 1 8 uh, hole and you want to change that to a 3 8 Sometimes you might go to stick a 3 8 drill bit in it and it grabs and it just makes a mess. Whereas this will step through the various different um, diameters till you get to the one that you want and it leaves it nice and neatly and it even leaves a slight chamfered uh, finish too to your hole. Um, but these are really handy, uh, especially with thin gauge metals. If you happen to be doing some brackets or, or sheet metal to your work, um, these uh, are very handy and you can get them in a set with different sizes as, to, as well sometimes but um, yeah I just thought I'd throw these in as well these step through bits uh, can be very you can use them through uh, in timber as well if you wanted to but uh, particularly good if you do have to do any brackets or metal sheet metal or, or uh, in laminate for example something thin where you got you got the chance of cracking or, or making a mess of the hole when you're trying to enlarge a hole uh, these are really handy for that these will work really well for that well, that just about wraps up this video for today. I hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it and, and maybe learnt something with these uh, extensions and drill bits and uh, bits for your battery drill or your workshop. Uh, I know that these are very handy and I've added bits here over the years and things have uh, come up that I've really found that uh, are really useful in the workshop and that's why I wanted to highlight basically these this group here with you because they are very uh, handy in your workshop and I use them a lot. You can probably see them in some of my videos. So I'll leave links to some of these things in, uh, in the description there if you, if you are interested in these. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up, press like, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can keep up to date with the latest videos that I come out with from time to time. And hopefully, I'm going to see you in one of my next videos. Thanks for watching.